So previously, we dealt with these types of variations, direct, joint, and inverse. Now, let us compare first direct and inverse, okay? So in direct variation, we make use of the equation y is equal to kx, which is equivalent to the statement y is directly or, or directly related to x or y varies directly as x. And for inverse, we have y is equal to k over x or is equivalent to the statement y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. Now, to get the constant of k, we have y over x for direct, and for inverse, we have k is equal to x times y. Okay, notice the operations used in the, in the equation. For direct, we have multiplication. For inverse, we have here division. In getting the k value for direct, we make use of division. For inverse, we make use of multiplication. Now, another type of direct variation is joint, okay? The, the process of solving problems in joint variation is the same as that in direct. The only difference is that in joint variation, uh, we have more than two, we can have more than two independent variables. So yesterday, we dealt with inverse variation, um, focusing on its table of values. Now, how do we translate a table of values modeling inverse variation into an equation? The process is the same as that as what we did in direct variation. So, first is we need to look into the movement of X and Y. Okay? So, let's observe the movement of X from top to bottom. So, 6 going to 24, the value of X increases. So, how about Y? So, 0 0.667 going to 0 0.1667. So, we have decreasing. Now, we have observed that the directions of the two, the two var variables are not the same. So, we can now say that this might model inverse variation. But, be, be, but before we can conclude that this models an inverse variation, we need to establish first the constant. Okay, how do we determine the constant? We simply multiply x and y. So, we get the product of multiplying x and y here. So, you have 6 times 0. 0.6667. So, we have here 4. We have 12 times 0. 0.333. We have 3.996 or rounded to 4. Then, we have 18 times 0. 0.222 equals 3.996 or rounded to 4. Then lastly, we have 24 times 0 0.1667 is equal, to, is equal to 4. Now, the constant is 4. Then we can now write the equation of inverse variation. Following this equation, y is equal to k over x. We simply replace k with 4 over x. This is now the equation that represents this table of values and this is useful when you are asked to solve for a bigger values of x. Say we have here 100. Okay? And so on. For next lesson, we'll be dealing with still inverse variation but on its graph. Okay? We have the learning target, only learning target. I can translate a graph of an inverse variation into an equation. Now, the process of translating inverse variation graph into an equation is the same as what we did in direct variation. Let's have some examples. Okay. So, how do we write the equation for this graph? Okay. First is we determine the constant by selecting a point on the graph. Okay, so as what I've told you, just select a point in which we can locate it in the intersection of the um, grids. So let's have this point. What is its x-coordinate? Its x-coordinate is 1. And how about its y-coordinate? The y-coordinate is 2. So how to get the constant? We have multiply x and y. So we have k now is x is 1 times y, which is 2. 
So, K now is equal to 2. Then, we can now write the equation by substituting K in Y equals K over X. So, we have Y is equal to 2 over X. Very easy. How about this second graph? Okay. I'll give you 30 seconds to do this. Okay. You may pause the video for a while. Then, solve it on your own. Okay. So... Here we have, um, let's estimate, so we have 0 point, uh, 1 is our x, then we have our y is, our y is 3.5, okay. So we have 3.5 here, so, okay, first step is determine the constant, so we have k is equal to, um, x times y, so we have here x is 1 times our y is 3.5, so we have 3.5 is our k, so our equation now, just replace k in this equation, so you have y is equal to 3.5x, okay? Next, okay, I'll be giving you uh, a minute siguro, a mi one minute to answer this in your work, work text, page 216, activity number 10. Pause the video for a while to answer and then play it again to check your work. Do it now, pause the video. Let us now check. Okay, so, determine, let's determine first the constant, okay? We have here a point which is located in the intersection of the grids. Okay. We can also have this point. Okay. So, let's have this point. We have our x is 2 and our y is 3. 2 and 3. Or we can make use of this point with coordinate 6 and then we have 1. Okay. We are going to make use of this point. We have x times y. So, you have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Or making use of this point, k is equal to x times y, you have 6 times 1 is still equal to 6. Okay? So, our constant here is equal to 6. Then, our equation now is y is equal to k over x, which is equivalent now to y is equal to 6 over x. Very easy. Now, how about this? Okay? So, we have this point. Our x is 7 and our y is 1. So, our k now is x times y. We have 7 times 1 is equal to 7. So, k is equal to 7. Our equation now is y is equal to 7 over x. Okay? So, that's it. Okay. Another one. What if we have this? We have three more, three points here. Same as what we did previously. We just choose any of the points. Okay, we have our x here is 1. Our y is 2. Here, our x is 2. Our y is 1. And here, um, have here 4. Say we have here uh, 0.5, 0. Point. Okay, na erase. So, we have here 1, then we have 2, then we have 2 and 1, then we have 4, then we have here 0. 0.5. See, we have here 0. 0.5, okay? If you're going to multiply x and y, 1 times 2, k here is 2, okay? Multiplying 2 and 1, that is still 2. Multiply 4 with, two point, with 0. 0.5, that is still 2. So, our k here is equal to 2. Then our equation now, y is equal to 2 over x. Very easy. How about this? Okay. Uh, we'll just be making use of um, coordinates with 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.75. So here we have obviously 0 0.5 here. So our x here is 1 with our y is 4.5. If we make use of this, we have 4.5 and 1, okay? We're going to get the product of 1 and 4.5. K is still 4.5. And here, you multiply 4.5 with 1. 
that is still 4.5. So our k here is 4.5, thus our equation is y is equal to 4.5 over x. Okay? It's time for you to practice on page 217 of your book, activity number 10. I'll give you a minute to do it because it's very easy. Okay? So, we have... Ah, this, not, this is not any more practice. This will be recorded rather. Okay? For checking and recording, we have page 217. Okay? Don't forget to upload this one or pass it to me during Saturday. Okay? So let's go back to our learning target. Can you confidently say to yourself now that you can translate a graph of an inverse variation into an equation? If yes, then congratulations. If not, then review the video and then answer the answer the activity again. Okay? So, I hope you understand today's lesson. Goodbye.